Hey, Craig and Paige. Now the Cardinals have been playing here in Allen Holland Field for nearly 70 years, and tonight was a bittersweet farewell. For the final game at the old stadium, Farmington hosted the Harrison Goblins. And while tonight's score may not have favored the home team, head coach Mike Adams is not leaving without some happy memories. You know, there's some, been some great moments here. You know, my, both my sons played on this field when I, when I was coaching them, so that you know, that's special for us. And uh, you know, we've had some really big wins here, and uh, and had the chance to be associated with a bunch of great young men. And uh, that's you know, that's going to be the part that. Well, that you know, we'll miss about this field. Athletic director Brad Blue says this old field and all the coaches that worked on it have kept it a staple for the school. I think this one's ran its course and it's been a great playing surface for many, many years. Uh, coach Adams does an amazing job and every head coach that we've had here in the past, is, they've worked their tail off on this field to make it what it is. The new field will be located right behind the new high school with twice as much bleacher space and turf on the field instead of the real grass at Holland Stadium. Blue adds that he is excited to see growth in the area and wants the fans to keep enjoying Cardinal football. When I first came here, we were a very small town, you know, and now we're the 56th largest high school in the state. So we've really grown and, and we've got to, as our numbers get bigger, both on our teams and in our town and, and, in, our, and in the bleachers, we've got to be ready to take those steps. Now the Cardinals will open up their new stadium with the battle for Highway 62 against the Prairie Grove Tigers next season. And of course, you can always catch up with all of that in our Friday Frenzy coverage in Farmington. Alex Wilson, 4029 News.